We're dealing with the coordinate plane today, and that's also called the Cartesian plane, named after the French mathematician Descartes. Um, so you might hear either of those phrases used. And the idea is that we can now graph positive and negative numbers and uh, identify them as locations and make pictures from this. Um, so we have two axes. And the axes are kind of like the points from which we derive everything else. You have the x-axis, so left and right, and the y-axis up and down. And right in the middle, you see this O right here, that's for the origin. We always call that center point the origin. And also, one other thing you might need to know is that there are different quadrants on this whole plane. So anything that fits into this quadrant right here, and it keeps going forever in this direction and up. So basically all positive x and y values, <coughs> that's the first quadrant. And then we have another quadrant next to it, and it goes in clockwise order. This is the second quadrant now, and it goes up this way. Now this is a little different, I mean we have negative x values and positive y values here, and then we keep going. Um, I'm going to highlight this one in yellow again down here, the third quadrant. Um, this quadrant has negative x and negative y values, so it's kind of in a way like the opposite of the first quadrant. Here we have positive and positive, here we have negative and negative values, and then I'm going to uh, also highlight the fourth quadrant in green because that's kind of related to the second quadrant because here in this quadrant, the second quadrant, uh, we have negative x and positive y, and here we reverse that, we have positive x and negative y. y. Let me talk about what I mean by that. Every point has a value. So in this first quadrant, I said it was positive, positive. This point C is right here, and we figure out where it is by counting the numbers on the x-axis first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we write seven comma, and then we want to know, well, how far up or down is it? So it's 2 up, so it's 7, 2. Notice it's a positive and a positive, and that's in the first quadrant. We go to here, the second quadrant, we have negative x values and positive y values. So we have negative 2 to get to b, and then we go up 6, so it's negative 2, 6. Um, and I said that quadrant 1 and quadrant 4, uh, 3, excuse me, are inversely related. Quadrant 1 has all positive points, while quadrant 3 has all negative points. Let's look at this point G. It's over on X by negative 7, and then down on Y, oops, negative 7, and then down on Y by negative 8. So we have a negative, negative point versus the positive, positive point here. And the last thing, quadrant 4, we have point E, which is at 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 5, so it's 4, negative 5. Notice 4, negative 5 is kind of the reverse here because here we have negative x and a positive y. And all points are written in this format with two parentheses and then the x value first and the y value after. You just need to figure out a way to remember that and always remember that x comes first.